Alrighty, so this video is not going to be very funny, probably. This one is actually, I wanted to talk about someone who had passed away recently, and that's Tim Conway. Now, there's a lot of younger people who have no idea who Tim Conway is, and that's totally fine. But Tim Conway is kind of the precursor to people like Jim Carrey and Will Ferrell. You know, very hilarious improvisers. People that were great at coming up with characters and being incredibly expressive. And he was very he was known for the Carol Burnett show, which was a long time ago, which was kind of like the Saturday the Saturday Night Live before Saturday Night Live existed. It had tons of guests and they did tons of skits and original characters and parodies, all this kind of stuff. And Tim Conway was one of the funniest people that was alive at that time and one of the funniest people that will have ever lived. Tim Conway has always been one of those huge inspirations for me. First of all, he's shorter and kind of a goofy looking fellow, or was, unfortunately. Was, you know, kind of a goofy looking fellow. Uh, and that's not to be rude to him. I mean, even he would say that. And, you know, he was shorter. And that was his thing. That was his gimmick. And he, and he, he owned it. And when it came to being funny, creating characters and improvising and making people laugh, he was amazing at it. I used to watch the Carol Burnett show back in the day. Not back in the day, back in the day, but I mean like back in my day. I used to watch it like when they would run reruns on, I think like Nick at Night and stuff like that. And I enjoyed it. I absolutely enjoyed it. It wasn't meant for my generation, but I always loved it. I enjoyed it. I laughed hysterically. Tim Conway was one of those one of those actors and one of those comedians that really made me who I am. Really inspired me because he was very comfortable on stage. He was incredibly comfortable. He didn't care about if he looked silly, you know, or if he embarrassed himself, because that was the point. The point was not him. The point was to make other people laugh. And he literally would do anything, including hurting himself, to make other people laugh. Moving forward a couple years in my life, I started getting into plays and acting. And some of the first plays that I had ever done, ever, were always roles where I played more or less a bit part and had pretty much no lines. And that would be plays in school. Um, when I did Oklahoma, I was a character who had no lines. When I did, uh, there was a play that I think I think we did it for like a month or something like that. And it was just Jack and the Beanstalk. Just Jack and the Beanstalk. And it was very fun. And I got to play the cow. And you would think that that would be the last <clears throat> the last role that anyone would want. Everyone else who auditioned was auditioning, you know, on all fours, just chewing cud and meh, whatever. I didn't want to do that. I was like, no. I mean, let's just let's just if the the cow's in the script and the cow like does things, I was like, let's just make him stand up. Let's just make it like the cowardly lion. You know, he's a lion, but he's on all he's on his two feet and. He has personality. So I wanted to do it like that. I hadn't read the script. I had not read the script. All I did was respond off the other actors. And the only thing I said was moo, but I would always put different inflection on it. And I stood there and, you know, I reacted and I had like body language and stuff like that, even though there was nothing in the script about the cow. So my entire performance was improv. I had worked with this director um, before. Uh, she had... Uh, she was one, uh, by the way, she was one of my favorite directors. I, I still have the script somewhere, and I kept it because I'm like, I, try, I actually, I think I tried contacting her through, like, the email, and there was no response, which was kind of a bummer. But I uh, auditioned. She loved the way that I was just standing on all four. I did, you know, she was like, it was very unique. Everyone else was just doing, you know, on all fours, and you were standing upright, and you added character to it. And so my entire performance was just improvising and she let me run free with that she let me she's like just don't don't derail the scene but just fill the space 
And the person that I pulled for inspiration, because my goal was to be as funny as possible and to be as, you know, energetic and as high energy as possible and as to, you know, make everyone else laugh. My goal literally was to try to break everyone else's concentration. It's kind of a cruel thing to do, you know, when on stage, but I thought it was hilarious. Uh, you know, it was something that I was like, I, if I get them to like cry laughing on stage, uh, I've won. And that was kind of Tim Conway's thing. And that was who I pulled for inspiration. And that was kind of where I really got into doing uh, stage and acting and, and comedy. Um, I mean, m getting into acting was actually, you know, inspired by my by my actual by my father. He was in plays, and I loved it. I, you know, it was the first time that I'd understood. Oh, you can pretend to be someone, and you're that person. I hadn't really like put two and two together before. So I got into acting because of my father, but I probably got into comedy because of my grandmother, who was a very funny, very funny person. Um, you know, my adopted uncle. Uh, Roland and uh, Tim Conway. So those are like the three people that probably got me into being a funny character actor and being just funny in stage and un funny in person. And though I'd always, I've always been like suspecting that you know, you know, Tim Conway was getting getting up there. He was getting old. He'd been around for a while. You know, I knew that you know any time now he was going to pass away. And so when I found out that he had. You know, I wasn't surprised. It was still a bummer, but I wasn't surprised. He was one of those people that was on my list of people that I really, truly wanted to meet. He was on my list of people that I wanted to eventually get to meet. And maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I still will, you know, if there's, you know, something up there, which I believe there is, um, and he's up there. I mean, if there is something up there, and he's definitely there. Uh, there's no way, there's no way there would be any kind of god or deity that would not put Tim Khan with just, just please just entertain us just come on. Um, so <clears throat> maybe, but in this life, not gonna happen, uh, and that is kind of a bummer. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll get to do a role that's like him. Um, uh, maybe they'll do you know uh, you know Carol Burnett biopic um, and I might get to be able to play him like way in the future who knows I don't know but um, yeah uh, he was just one of those people that was um, huge inspiration and it is kind of a bummer that he has passed away and uh, yeah uh, we're gonna miss him uh, you know just a huge loss uh, if you haven't seen stuff from the Carol Burnett show go watch stuff from the Carol Burnett show just type in Carol Burnett and go watch it. Just any of it. There's a lot of it that is still funny today that you don't need. A lot of people think that you need like cultural references to make something funny or to make something connect with an audience. You don't. There's lots of situations, you know, and types of people and personalities and group dynamics that will transcend, you know, culture and transcend pop culture and stuff like that. And that's what The Carol Burnett Show is really about. Different dynamics of people in different kinds of situations. I mean, you can basically just take a lot of those and just update them to, to now, and they'd probably still be funny. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is just me opening up to you. Hope you don't mind. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, again, go check out The Carol Burnett Show. You can t find tons of clips on YouTube. Uh, if you're new, subscribe, bell for notifications. And until next time, peace.